Hello Scorpio, welcome to your September reading. Can you believe that we have got to September already? I just, I don't know where the year goes. It absolutely flies by and uh, I hope it's been a good year for you. Wow, you've got the world card there. Have we got anything else for Scorpio, please, tarot cards? Oh, that card wanted to jump out. We take that. Oh, the Ace of Swords. Two of Cups. Oh, they're flying out here, Scorpio. Absolutely flying out here. So we want one more card for Scorpio, please. Okay. Okay, Scorpio, so let's get on with your September reading. So this is your recent past here, and you've got the world card. So the last few weeks or month, you've had some kind of cycle in your life. It feels like it's come to an end. When I look at that card and I draw on my intuition, Scorpio, what really comes into my thoughts, what really comes into my head is it's like you've come to some kind of epiphany in the last few weeks and months where you've suddenly decided, you know, it's time now for me to settle down or it's time now for me to make some kind of change in my life is what I'm feeling when I look at this card and I'm really, really drawn to this man's intuition. So I really feel that you have come to some sort of epiphany in the last few weeks and months where you've been thinking, I need to make a change. I need to do something different. And when we look at September, this is your current situation. Again, it's the Ace of Swords. So this is a new way of thinking, a new way of thought. So I'll pull another card over that. And it's the Nine of Cups. So you're really thinking, Scorpio, now that there's something in your life that's missing there's something that you want and it's time for you to make your wishes come true. You're, you've decided if you want to change your life, you need to do it. You need to make these changes and you need to make it happen. And you're right, Scorpio. Nobody else can change your life but you. You're the only one that can make it happen. And if there's something that you want in your life, something that you feel is missing, then you need to go out and search for it. It's not going to come knocking on your door. And it's like you've realised this, Scorpio. This card here is what helps or hinders you. And it's the Two of Cups. So for some of you, Scorpio, this could be about a relationship matters of the heart, you've probably been thinking that, you know, you either want to start a relationship, you want something new, perhaps you're looking even for a business relationship or something to do with somebody close to you. But I feel very much this is matters of the heart, matters of your emotions. And I'm drawn very much to the red like sacral chakra there, the lotus flower there. So this is about your emotional security, where you fit into the world, where you see yourself and how emotionally secure that you feel, Scorpio. And this is what it's all about in September for you. You're looking for something that you feel is missing in your life, something that would make you feel that you fit better into the world. It will give you a purpose. And your advice is your judgments, basically. You know, don't judge yourself too harshly, Scorpio. And I also wonder if you are struggling with your own decisions that you've been, you know, looking back at the past and thinking I've made the wrong decisions in the past when it's come to other people, when it's come to relationships, 
you know, business partnerships, anything like that. I've made some real bad choices, but you can't judge yourself on that, Scorpio, because things happen in our life. You know, we all make wrong decisions, but we learn from them. And the idea is that you won't repeat those mistakes. So, you know, don't be too harsh on yourself. You won't make those mistakes again. Have the enthusiasm to go out there and find something new and not worry too much. And I feel that here as well with the Two of Swords. This indecisiveness. Because sometimes Scorpios, you know, it's something to do with the Scorpio sign that you can be distrusting of people. So just because you made wrong decisions in the past and you met wrong people in the past don't mean that's going to happen again. So try and let your guard down a bit, Scorpio. Try and look at people and not have a distrust in them straight away. Trust in the magic of life. Trust in your decisions that you can make good decisions. Because if you let your guard down and you let people in, I know that you then have that risk of being hurt. And sometimes that can really be a worry. You know, you don't want to be hurt again, but you have to take that risk sometimes. So trust in the magic of life here with the magician. Have some faith in yourself that you can make the right decisions. You know, take things slowly. Take things slowly. If you don't rush things, then you, you know, if you meet somebody and you feel that they're not right for you and you've not rushed it, if you've taken it slowly, then you can walk away at the right time. So, you know, trust to yourself that you can make the right decisions. Trust yourself that you can meet a nice person, that not everybody is out to get you, Scorpio. Not everybody is out to hurt you. So, you know, trust in the magic of life, that things come into your life for a reason. 